Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. You'll never guess what. We're live. Actually, you probably would have guessed that is my guess. I'm just making an educated guess, but here we are. It is Sunday night. We are awaiting the markets. And after the big uh, drop on Friday, we're going to see what's going to be happening here with the markets. It'll be quite interesting indeed. We've got Speed 108 here. As an honorary citizen, good to see you. Coin Collecting Fund is here. It says, awesome, with two exclamation points. Good to see Coin Collecting Fund. Silver Sax is new. Good to see Silver Sax. Welcome, my friend. Silver Drill Pickle is in the house, speeding. All right, good to see you guys. All right, very good. B Demon is here with the first like. Very cool. And let's explore. Indeed. All right, says MNG. And exactly right, indeed. All right, very good. So let us start. Um, with going through some of these, I'm going to get here my boilerplate stuff. We're going to, we're going to kind of get on top of these comments a little bit before we get into the, um, markets. So let us do that right now. And, uh, where are we at? Okay. Jason Keith on the video, the perfect storm for silver says silver crashes prior to recessions. Wait for silver at $14 by mid year. They started loading up. As it hits twenty dollars by March, twenty twenty two. Interesting. Okay. Um. So Jason thinks that silver is going to go down to fourteen dollars, and then um, and then it will go up to twenty by March twenty second. By March of two thousand twenty two, we shall see. We'll find out. Silver Steeler is here. Hello, Silver Steeler, and good to see Jenny Hansen here. Yes, let's break the market. Indeed, we shall find out, and we are honored to have. President Trump with us as well. Hello, Mr. President. Hello, hi, Steve and Captain Ron Hayward. Several more minutes to go. Been waiting all day. It'll be kind of interesting to see what's going to happen with the uh, the uh, um, the Mexican cerveza that is following this ailment that will be coming along here. All right. Uh, Blade Fanatic, hello. Good to see you. I have trouble pronouncing these YouTube channel names or accounts. Uh, they don't have, don't have spaces between them, and they don't put a capital letter between them. Uh, but uh, yeah, Blade Fanatic. I was about ready to call them Blad E fin Fanatic, but it's Blade Fanatic. All right, Beat Demon. Download the Kitco app so and get a market fix throughout the week. Yes, indeed, I've got it as well. Donald is here. Silver Surf Wax salivating over market open. All right. Uh, Perception Control says Usad pleads on the. On the big drop, the video Friday that I posted about it, why gold and silver got slammed with the stock market uh, uh, video last week. Uh, and Trevor H. says they want us to sell it all back cheaply to them so they can build a massive stack of silver. Then they will hike up the price of silver massively, make a killing. That's what I think in my own little world, but I know I'm talking nonsense. Well, Trevor, you know, there's a lot of people that do feel... There's something going on behind the scenes, and it's understandable, but the thing is, is I do believe in natural market forces at play, especially in times like this, but, um, you know, and I think a lot of part of it, too, is because people have this this uh, false expectation that silver is supposed to go to some certain number, but I think if you keep things in check, um, then you are, um, you know, be realistic about it. Um, you won't be feel led to uh, necessarily think that um, because I think that in the long run silver and gold basically will go up in price and preserve your wealth in relation to inflation so there that is all right very good okay let's get it going oh hey uh, Jenny thank you so much you made my day she says okay handsome Sal let's get it going honey all right very sweet of you but I can assure you you probably if you saw me you might be second guessing that first little part of that comment but thank you jenny you're awesome mm. i slurp some coffee we got skeleton key a lot of good folks popping in here today all right so let's get a couple more comments and then we're going to check these markets here just momentarily silver valley coins and bullion says it looks like people don't have money to put into any sector yes all right thank you hot neo uh what i'm about to say comes from taking some time off in the winter away from silver videos and looking at the big picture. Now I've been watching the silver stacking YouTube community come and go from Silverfish VT to Golden Pharaoh and many others. Yes, Hot Neo's been around for a while. I've learned a lot from others and beyond the unboxings 
and the silver porn, which got old real quick. It was a discussions about how many of us were simple, uh, lived very simple lives of Ford uh, making these metals as investments. Well, 10 years went by, 10 years. I had the misfortune of riding my silver mechanical bull on top of a controlled demolition building from 40 to 30. Then I got in and sank halfway to 15 and six months earlier. I'm going to have a video that's going to be talking about this. You know what it's like talking about watching your investment lose half of value in 10 years. All silver has done is trade sideways from 15 to 18. That's right. And there's another problem there. You're looking at it as an investment, which is not the right way to do it. Um, to view it because you have this highly expectation high expectations for it and uh but anyways but yeah so um anyways i don't want to go through all of this but he he, he goes into a lot of is it worth it and uh let's see here yes but uh thank you for your comment hot neo you've been around a while you've seen it it's been a lot of people had high expectations and hopes for it um but i have a motto silver sells itself gold sells itself so keep that in mind here very good mud swap is here steven is here your favorite british here sal yes indeed we got mud steven heath good to see you sir yes very good oh and we got slacker stacker here slacker stacker my friend we've been praying for you brother um so good to see you slacker stacker everybody um and i hope you're doing well my brother Yes, indeed. So good to see you. Hope you are uh, feeling better. And on the men, as Seduced by Silver says, she's here too. Seduced by Silver, good to see you. Check out Silver Seduced. I mean, check out Silver Seduced by Silver's latest video. She got a great package from Steven. Yes, indeed. All right. And uh, CCT is here. Yes, hello, Mar uh, Michael Martin. Good to see you. Okay. Very good. ECP is here. Slurp. Yes, indeed. There's a slurp for ECP. East Coast Prospecting. All right. Very good. Hanging in there. Good, Slacker Stacker. Well, we'll continue to pray for you. I know you're not out of the woods yet, but we just want you to get well and get better soon. Yes, indeed. Uh, but so glad you're here and take it easy for sure. Uh, the second favorite. Okay. Potter Jam. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, Potter Jam. We appreciate you too, my friend. Appreciate y'all, you guys. The Nepsters is here. Quadrillionaire, good to see you. Seeing some new faces here. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Yes, no problem, Seduced. You've got a great channel. You're awesome. Months wide. Okay, let's get back to some of these comments because we do want to get to the markets as they open up. Darius Patel says, So I have a 2013 Proof American Eagle, which flips the wrong way. Done all tests on it except the acid test. It is bang on with every other test. Can it be an error coin? I think it very well could. I've not seen that. If it's silver, uh, very well could be. Uh, but and there's a, be other indicators, I think, that you could uh, try to check in and see, including how the strike is and everything like that. Okay, let's see here. Darius also says, uh, okay, that's the same thing. A comment on a different video. John. The Royal Mint uses tons of gold, platinum, and silver in all of its collectible bullion coins it makes. Queen's Beast, uh, Britannia Sovereigns, and also proof sets and bullion bars. Yes, that's true, but I wonder if those have to be... Well, I don't know. I guess there's not much gold mining in um, the United Kingdom. So, yeah, it makes sense they would have to buy it from someone else. Silver Junkies here, Grow Mechanic. The markets are opened right now, so let's check them. Let's check them and see what's happening. See what's cracking in the markets here. All right. Uh, let's see here. We'll open in one minute. So you see where the numbers are at right now. Everything is down dramatically right before they open. So you can see those numbers. 3.57% down, 6.31 down, 4.11 down, 9.62 and 8.93. So here we go. We're going to refresh it right now. Here we go. Still not showing that it's open yet here. Sometimes a little bit slow. Silver and gold are up, says Eric. Okay. I think there might be a rebound too when this thing opens up. Uh, we'll give it a little bit. We'll give it another minute. Merlin says, I know I'm off subject. But does anyone know if the 2019 enhanced reverse proof mint director signatures are accounted for? I think... At around 100, he signed. Um, I've not seen number one. 
I've seen number two and number three, uh, but uh, I'm not sure if they're all accounted for. Uh, my guess is probably some of those are unboxed and sold as unboxed and not been opened yet. Uh, so we'll see here. Bit silver will go to 15 before we see any rise, it says Potter Jam. That very well could be. Very well could be. Barbara is here and Pudenda is here. Pudenda Johnson. So good to see you guys. Kalonic is here. Alan Gold says to lock me up. Son of a... Well, we're going to get to some Alan Gold's comments here because he's actually very complimentary of me. Very complimentary of me. Almost like he worships me. We'll see. We'll find out. Maybe it's too far to say that, that Alan Gold worships me. I think that's probably a bit of a stretch. I would probably be safe to say that, even though he didn't compliment me greatly. It was a great compliment. All right. Tom Seward, should I hard liquor or pot weed? Actually, they say it's good to have some alcoholic beverages in a time of SHTF. Yes. Uh, beer, well, whatever keeps of liquor probably would be good. They say that's good to have that. Uh, weed, I'm not so sure. But anyways, but all right, very good. Alan loves Sal. That's right. Okay, David Short says, um, hey, Hi, sorry I don't know your name. Thanks for the videos. My name is Salivate Metal. I really enjoy them. Perhaps you'd like to know the following. Uh, rare look behind the vaults. Um, yeah, I've seen, there's actually a video where they show behind the vaults, but I'd like to check that video out from BBC. Thank you, David Short. Dakini Woman says, this makes me wonder, where was the awesome, uh, where was all the Russian gold mine? Does Russia have many gold mines, which Canada had not sold off all its gold? Yes, I agree. I do believe Russia does some gold mining as well. But, uh, let's see here. All right, let's get back here to the markets and see what's happening. They are open now. Okay, here we go. So, gold is up. In the markets now, gold is up four dollars and eighty cents to fifteen ninety one. It's creeping up closer to the sixteen hundred dollar level. Uh, but silver is actually down nine cents, a 054 percent decrease here. Uh, silver well below that seventeen dollar level. It's it's hurting a bit here. Uh, platinum is down uh, as well, eleven dollars. Wow, it's way below nine hundred dollars now. And even palladium is suffering. It's actually taken the biggest hit out of the starting gate with these metals. Wow, only gold is coming up ahead. The rest of the metals are down. Pretty crazy indeed. Okay, let's see here. Yes, Barbara Carbone is here. And where is Terry? And we have Mr. Roman here. Long time, good to see you. Barbara Carbone is groovy. Yes, indeed. And Stephen, so good to see Stephen Heath, too. All right. Pudenda Fawcett smoking. Smoking. All right. Smoking. Let's get back to these comments. We'll check those. Uh, we'll check the markets here again momentarily. That is pretty big movement, I think, on a downward trend for these markets. But Edward Owen says, I agree with the report in general. I have been saying this for years. I don't agree with the numbers. And like you, Sal, I don't think the gold, silver, or copper... Uh, sitting in landfills is lost. Very good. Thank you, Edward. A while back on the channel, I proposed the above ground stocks. Stuff that is ready for sale as bullion and scrap is about 9 billion ounces. This report only bolsters that estimate for me. Now, I'm just waiting to see how much the mileage uh, the entire corporate and political world milk out of this uh, cerveza bug. But yes, yes, I know. I tell you what, it's something else. And the markets are reacting as such. But more people die from the regular flu than this, for sure. All right. Okay. Potter Jam is doing a giveaway. Cool. All right. Yes, indeed. Congratulations, Potter Jam. Awesome. Very good. Let's see. All right. CCT had a pretty big movement this morning himself. Very good. All right. All right, so yeah, gold is, uh, let's see, let's see what the markets are doing right now. Gold is now $3.40 in the hole out of the starting gate. Uh, so it spiked up just a little bit there, just a little bit of dip or a little bit of a blip upwards, but now it's down a little bit. Uh, and silver is down, everything's down still. So this is interesting to see. We're seeing a continued decline in the Asian markets. Um, so apparently there's still some concern out there. Um, it has not waned, even though the case for the um, infections has actually gone down in China, mainland China. There's more recovered now than there are infected. All right, very good. Okay. 
Okay, oh man, so uh, Jenny is going to buy some more bullion uh, come Monday. Uh, buy some bullion of silver, so take advantage of these dips. Very good. Battle of the Pauls. Kiss guitarist Paul Stanley versus Senator, Patriot Senator Ron Paul. Well, I tell you what, I do have some respect for Paul Stanley. But we're going to have to give it to the limited government Rand Paul. Because uh, he is a, a, a champion of limited government and liberty. So, and he survived a, a blindsided attack while he was mowing his lawn in Kentucky from an embattled neighbor. And uh, he has pulled through at a very tough time. But uh, I would give I would give a round give this round to uh, to Ram Paul. Uh, Paul Stanley has got a deformed ear. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, in a battle that might make it difficult because he won't hear what's coming from, or at least hear exactly what's coming from the from the one side. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, let's get back here to these comments. We'll come back to the markets. Uh, Massachusetts pre prepper, a, a pretty interesting article, and I agree with you. What you say about Russia having debt, and they need to satisfy, and that's probably a big factor behind the selling off of so much gold. Yes, all right. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, it very could be a, a correlation, but the thing is, this all is what had occurred in the prior year, not this year. But uh, who knows? Just being reported on. All right. Okay, oh, there you go. All right, yes, I'd have come to Kentucky and visit. I'd love to visit Jenny Hansen in Kentucky. Yes, indeed, that would be cool. I would love it just because she's there. Yes, indeed, I'd love to do that, yes. All right. Uh, interesting party says, this is some old, same old manipulation. You should expect this crap as long as the banks are involved. And I, and I know, as much as I talk about manipulation, people uh, are still thinking that that's really a that big of a deal but i just don't think it plays that big of a part hello juan good to see you lost for words donald bump futile hurts good to see all you guys here barbara carbone says that's amazing imagine finding that in the history and the true history it brings incredible i don't know why i was doing this crazy oh my gosh this is barbara's comment here barbara do you see what's going on here i think this is a Browser issue. I, mean, I haven't even typed any key on the keyboard. It's not. Now it's doing it here. Wherever I put, there's no, there's nothing. I'm typing. Ah, dang it. Why is this doing this? I assure you, I'm not doing that. All right, let's see here. In uh, the history it brings, love it to be, to do well, to preserve 2,000 years is amazing. It really is. There's a slurp for you, too. Yeah, I think that's awesome. This is how well that was preserved over all those years. Pretty wild. Bigfoot. Silver. Hide and seeker. No fear, Uncle Sal. Despite a goofy week, remember, even though you are making your garden angel work overtime, you are blessed, bro. Uh, the bankster... Um, must want another bailout, and big corporations want another tax break. Wait, I can't remember who packed Bigfoot's parachute. Oh, man, Hassan tried the golden parachute. I fear, let's drive those markets. Thank you, Bigfoot. All right. Her beauty is glitching the matrix. Yes, indeed. Look at all these Vs. All right, too much slurping, says Bigfoot. All right, we just, we just, uh, we just answered Bigfoot's comment. There it goes, speed went away. It's got the slurp mugs in effect. Here's another slurp. Hmm. Put new money to work with platinum and silver. 10 ounce bar says Ken. Great, that's awesome. Rigo Silver says awesome thumbs up. Very cool. Any scratches don't affect the price. Um, well, exactly. Uh, you know, as far as the bullion value, it is what it is. Um, little minor scratches probably won't affect it, but I like to uh, acquire these things more than just. Um, uh, for the bullion value. I like the beauty of them, too. So, there's that. Silver Drill Pickle. Look for metal prices to drop this evening at market opening. Well, that's what we're going to do right now, Silver Drill Pickle. Are you still here? Let's see here. There it is. Let's see. Now it's up $2 for gold, and silver is down $0.13. Cents. So, uh, gold is struggling to stay above water uh, from the down, from the close last Friday. But so far, it is up two bucks 
pretty interesting. All right, very good, very good. Let's see here. Uh, let's get back here to the comments. So we'll check on those momentarily. Khaled, Pesca Coins, thanks for sharing this information, my friend. Well, thank you. This is on the uh, Comparing Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Palladium video that I did today. This is a video I've been wanting to do for literally years. And um, just wanted to get some information together to do it first. But uh, yes, so... Um, this is one video I'd like to, just because of, for the just of informational purposes, it'd be cool if Alan Gold could share it with his grandmother, that'd be great. Or if you could share it with your, uh, um, in utero, you know, if you have a cousin that's pregnant, share it with them, you know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, oh, is that really true? Buttigieg is suspending his presidential campaign. That's crazy. Wow. I did not know that. That's that's insane. Because he had been doing relatively well. All right. Let's see here. So Seduced by Silver says, Greeting Sal. I always appreciate your point of view. I put um, most of my extra money this month into topping up my pandemic preps, but still found a little for precious metals. Hope you're doing well. Yes, thank you so much, Seduced. Um, yes, good. always a good idea to be prepared. Um, for sure, and Seduced by Silver definitely knows how to do that. She's got several videos. You should check them out where she um, uh, goes over her preparations for a myriad of different uh, reasons and things. So, yes, indeed. I hope you're doing well, too, Seduced. Always good to hear from me. You're awesome. Yes, indeed. We love Seduced by Silver. Tessa, I love, I love your into Sal. Not only rocks, but it's so beautiful as well. Thanks. Thank you, Tessa. Appreciate that. You're awesome. Tessa Cunningham, great person. Scrapper says, industry has just fallen through the floor, so the price of silver will continue to plummet as warehouses become full up and they start selling it off cheap. I think it could go to $10 an ounce, and so and so I sold 300 ounces for a 20% loss, which is better than a 60% loss in the last few weeks. Yes, all right. Um... It'll be interesting to see where the where the price of the metal goes for sure. Let's pause and take a look back at the markets here. What are the markets doing? Hello, Lindy. Good to see you. All right. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Okay, the markets are... Now, look. Gold is down $2. It's up $2, down $2. It's been really fluctuating here in the last few minutes. Actually, let's take a look at that chart and see what this is the... What is happening here has been relatively flat, but it's gone up and gone down. And there's another little up that it took there, but it went back down. So it's relatively, um, it's not sure what, gold's not sure what it wants to do now. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, the, um, why is this thing here? Um, now look at this. Now it's down $8. So this is pretty wacky. There's a lot of movement in these markets now, especially for gold. But silver is now down 23 cents. Um, so it's really making some moves here. Platinum is down $12. But look at gold and silver. Gold was up two separate times in an about a $2 increase and then a, and then a $2 decrease. And now it's down $8.70. So very interesting indeed. And keep in mind, we're looking at the markets in Asia. Um... And uh, Jenny says that it'll probably go down until this particular ailment uh, where or slacks off. And, that, and it will be interesting to see. Um, I think you're right. I think until we get some assurance um, and the hype of it goes away, um, then we will see probably more of this activity. Um, and But who knows? You know, the, the markets are, there's a lot of psychology in the markets. And sometimes it'll operate out of logic uh, in time. But uh, yes, and we'll see. But it'll be very interesting. MNG, thank you so much for that super chat. Um, enjoy, buddy. Does anyone else have, have had a problem trying to buy something on AppMex today? Seems like the servers were down. Oh, I have not heard. I don't know. Um, uh, that's interesting, MNG. I have not heard. Don't um, That's not good. We'll see what happens. Monday, hopefully. Ozzy is here. Hello, Ozzy. By the way, if I don't, it's kind of a busy evening here. 
So if I don't um, um, uh, give you a, a greeting for coming in, I do apologize, but I do appreciate you guys partaking and being here in the chat side and viewing uh, for sure. But welcome and hello, everybody. We've got Ozzy Alchemist, uh, B Demon, Freedom Stackers here. Yes, indeed. Good to see all you guys. Yeah, MNG, it was crazy Friday. I posted a video about it as to why the prices went down. Massive selling, for sure. So we're looking for Terry Rabidou, or Terry79, and we're also looking for um, Tricky Guy. Where's Tricky Guy? Days and Confused Stackers here. All right, very good. Let's get back to the comments here, and we're going to... We're going to pause more frequently for the markets to see what's going on with those. Yes, indeed. And we're going to check in with them more frequently here. Chuck and Plata says, Still strange to me that living in a city with, with silver in its name and the bullion dealer is not buying. Not even my silver eagles or maple leaves. Deb's wanting a new LP stove oven. Maybe I should go back and barter. Yes, slurp on. Here we go, Chuck. Well, you're in the Dominican Republic, which is a different market too, but certainly from the U.S. you would be able to sell your silver, but you'd probably take a little bit of a loss as far as the percentage under spot. It just depends. Cash ban law 2020 was passed by Senate committee. Basically law now. Uh, okay, you have to fill me in on that, Ozzy. Is that an Australian law? I'm not familiar with Australian law, but so it bans cash apparently, I guess. It sounds like it. It's my fault the markets are crashing, says Alan Gold. Canadian Gold Silver says, nice video as always. Thank you so much. This is an informative video on the comparing silver, gold, platinum, and palladium. Good video, Uncle Sal. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mark B. I appreciate it. All right. Now, this one is an insult. I'm taking this as an insult. I'm a wealth serial killer. Oh, my goodness. I take it that's a bad thing. So I'm taking that as an insult. I'm going to chalk that one up as an insult. Kevin Cowan, good to see you. All right, and Edwin, NYC, good to see you guys popping in here. Do the dishes, says, great information, thanks. I'm surprised you didn't show off your rhodium bar in there. I'm guessing you still have it. Well, the reason there's a reason why I didn't show that here is because I'm basically outlining in this one the major bullion coins um, and uh, the, the, the metals that are used in bullion. Typically, rhodium, even though it's only rec it's recently been minted by the PAMPS, was PAMP uh, Credit Suisse as a bar, and also uh, Baird and Company as a bar, mostly it is um, these four metals here. Don't touch me, I'm crazy, says, I'd love to hear you talk about this more and how things may have played out. Cheers from Denver, how the Mexican, how the Silver Libertad can make Mexico great again. Yes, indeed. Um. Yeah, um, I have to do have to do that because other people have made mention of it, and I'll have to do that and check it out. All right, hey, over, another overtaxed taxpayer, very complimentary. Wow, very much the opposite of Alan Gold. Says the best silver channel on YouTube. Well, thank you, sir. I don't. I got to disagree with you. There's a lot of other people that do a much better job at presentation than I do. But thank you so much, my friend. You've got a great channel. All right, very good. Uh, you're a regular serial killer of pop tarts and cookies. I love cereal. Oatmeal, too. So you're right, Silver Drill Pickle. Sunny Day is here. Hello, Sunny Day. Good to see you. Kevin Cowan. I did say your name right. Very good. All right. Gabby Marr. Cassius King. Alex Miles. Still a fight man. All right. Ned Flanders is here. Platinum is little silver, so JT goes west. Yes. All right. Let's see what the markets are doing because literally they have been reacting minute by minute here. And so now gold is now down $4.10. It was down $8 before. It was up $2, up $2 a time before, down $2. And so it has been really kind of sporadic out of the starting gate. Uh, overall, though, the markets are in a negative direction uh, from their big losses. So they're extending it out of in, alert, in the first 20 minutes, aside from gold, with a couple of blips upward. Mm. Yes, chocolate hobnobs. Although, Stephen, I will tell you, seeing all that candy you sent to... Um, um, seduced by silver, you're going to be proud of me, actually, um, because, Stephen, I have cut back on sugar, so I'm not eating as much sugar now. I'm trying to eat a little healthier, uh, 
But anyways, all right, there we go. Alan Gold has just come right out and said it. In case you didn't know, he has come out and said it right there, just like George Costanza would do it. He says, I hate Sal. There, I said it. He has confessed it to the world, or at least 179 people, that he indeed hates me. He has let his feelings be known to everyone here. And uh, I will go ahead and make the confession too, since we're all sharing our feelings here, that I am offended, hurt, sad, and I pretty much want to cry right now. I'm I just, I'm going to be just, just uh, you know, uh, just honest with everybody. I really do feel like I want to just ball, you know. Steven is trying to eat better too. Nice. All right. Gabby says 8675309 push ups. Now, that would be a lot of push ups to do for sure. I will do some, but I, and I will mention every one of those uh, numbers in my push ups. But yes, indeed. Huge moment. Slacker Stacker says, less push ups now. Oh, man. No, we want to do more push ups. We want to try to do more and are going to try to do it. Yes, indeed. Slacker Stacker. So good. It makes my day to see Slacker Stacker here. He's a great guy. Wish him the best. Yes, indeed. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Um, CCT says, glad to hear you mention Britannia silver. The stuff is not easy to come by, even for me. Gold, $1,300. That's right. $1,300 is the number, um, is is the magic number for CCT. He's got it waiting to go. And uh, and to get it to go to um, $1,300, he is going to make a purchase. I hope it gets there for his sake so he can get some more gold for sure. All right, very good. All right. Um, those who bully are cowards. All right, I agree with that. Sup, Mr. SM? Good to see you, sir. All right, I need to do this because this guy is, this is a snack or something like this. His, his name, it's... Fercandel Special. I forgot to look it up, how to pronounce it, but thank you so much. Next time you can tell something about rhodium. Well, uh, Fercandel, Fercandel, all you have to do is search my videos for rhodium. I've actually done several videos on rhodium, and I have a whole series of videos called Why I Love that talks about all the metals that we talk about in this community for sure. All right, yes, I'm going to show the ladies how many push-ups you can do. All right, yes, indeed. All right. Hello, C. Barrett. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you. Chocolate is a superfood. Now, I will preface this. I'm cutting back on sweets. However, I am loving dark chocolate. Like 72% or up. That's my bag right there. I love dark chocolate. So if it's 72% or up to 86%, I'm going to like that stuff. Oh, wow. Uh, Len D has a four-year-old grandson that can do as many push-ups as you. That's awesome. That's amazing. That's great. Keep at it. That's awesome. Wow. He sounds like you got a good kid, good grandson there. Very cool. Alan always one now does apple cider vinegar every day. Gold-plated bear. Very cool. Always one now. I've heard good things about apple cider vinegar. Um, and uh, so that's something to consider, too. Cinnamon, too, is good for you, too. I put cinnamon in my coffee now. That I'm slurping right now for Barbara. <clears throat> Crap, it went down the wrong pipe here. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jen says that's a good chocolate. Milk chocolate is bad. Yes, I agree. I don't even like milk chocolate anymore, really. Yes, milk, coffee and chocolate are good together. Yes, they sure are. They sure are. <clears throat> All right. All right. Here is the here is the complimentary uh, compliment. This is very complimentary compl uh, comment from Alan Gold. He is inviting me to go jogging with him along the rim of the Grand Canyon. I promise it will be breathtaking. Oh man, I want to jog on the side closest to the canyon, Alan Gold, because I trust you completely. So um, I um, I definitely would take you up on that offer, Alan Gold. Very much so. Fly me out there. Let's do it. And uh, and again, I want to fly really. I want to I want to jog really close to the edge. You've been the other side of me, 
so I can get the really good views of the canyon because I, I trust you completely that you won't shove me off the edge. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Robert Waterman says, those metals are all great choices for investors, but there are so many other metals that are available for both coin and ingot for investment that pay as good, if not better. Well, I wonder what those other metals are. Obviously, rhodium is one, but um, I admit there are some very expensive, yet there are others that are relatively inexpensive and really available. I think with proper research and forethought, they're very interesting and secure for profit and stacking enjoyment. Well, that's tr there are other metals out there for bar form. I mean, you can get copper bars, you can get copper rounds, uh, but copper is not really a metal that I would see to stack. I would never stack copper. Um, nickel or any of these other exotics, you know, same thing there. They're going to charge you a lot more than the, what the price is worth. Rhodium is not shown here because, well, it's not coined and, and it's not as recognized. It's so rare and it's so volatile. In fact, you won't get spot price for it. You probably wouldn't even get bid price for it. All right. Ozzy, what's happening here in Alice coming to the IMF controlled countries? USA must repeal 2019-13. I mean, uh, what's happening here in Australia is coming to the, all the international monetary fund controlled countries. Yeah, it's too bad. This is Ozzy. This is why we stack gold and silver for sure, my friend. Exactly right. C-Rod is here. Hello, C-Rod. Check out his newest video. Subscribe to the C-Rod channel. He had a really good channel showing some picks up, pickups and things that he's gotten there. Good guy. So check him out and see Rod. He also uh, frequents the uh, the Tuesday um, auctions at Stacking Stormtrooper. Another channel to check out for sure. Silver is money, says uh, Burkhard Dams. Or Dams, I do agree with that. I believe it is money, even if it's hibernating money. Gold Maple says, salivate. Uh, this was a very informative video about gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. I knew a lot about gold and silver, but not about platinum and palladium. I was wondering about the other members of the platinum family of elements, which includes iridium, osmium, and rhodium. We don't hear a lot about these other metals in the platinum family. Do you know if there is any demand for those other metals? And if there are coins, rounds, and bars? No, and that's part of the reason I probably should have prefaced it in this video. But that's another reason why I didn't review those. Because you don't see those. Rhodium is the only one of those other metals that you can get in bar form. Not in coin form and not in round form. Well, save for the the um, that snow dragon or whatever, which is a very rare. That is the only other, that is the only coin um, that is made in rhodium. But uh, I did specify why I only covered these four metals as a comparative study there. But yes, thank you, Gold Maple. 50 Smoke says, love your intro. It makes me want to headbang like the old days. Those are my four favorite coins. Thanks for showing them all together like that. Yes, no problem, 50 Smoke. Appreciate that. Ozzy says, won't save us. Look at what happened to Germany. Precious metal purchases will also be made illegal. Next step in the IMF scheme. Well, if they do Ill, uh, make them illegal, good luck getting them from everybody. Uh, in fact, even when um, um, it was... They were made. Um, they were made illegal to own in the 30s here in the U.S. It was very difficult to enforce. Uh, people sold them because they were buying them. I think for 35 dollars an ounce, even though the day before the it went into case, it was uh, 20 dollars. So there were, people were making money on it. Uh, no, if they were to do that again, they wouldn't get mine, even if they were to charge double. Even if they were going to pay me double spot for it. So that should tell you something. If the government offers you much more than what something is worth, that means it's worth even more than what they're saying. So you hold on to it. But anyways, Silverholic says, because of the upcoming crash, I will very likely be able to get some platinum and maybe some palladium too. Really looking forward to both. I wonder why you left out rhodium though. That one completes the five primary metal group. Yeah, I talked about that in the video. And I know other people said that. Um, and the reason is because, well, there's not a rhodium maple leaf. And uh, it's, a, uh, it's a metal that I've talked about in other times. It's, it's way out there in rarity. Only three different uh, manufacturers um, make rhodium bullion. I mean, rhodium bullion, and that is Baird, uh, Pamp, 
and then whoever, whatever the company that makes the uh, the Snow Dragon. Mio says, hey, Sal, that's a stunning set of four coins. I'm sorry I wasn't tuned into Palladium and Platinum back then. In the 90s, there was a bit of a tarnish-resistant sterling silver alloy called Sovereign Sterling Silver. Interesting. I can't find hide or hair, not hair of it, but I did find this. Very cool. That would be an interesting um, uh, thing to see come back in, especially for coins. Yes, indeed. Resistant to that. All right, let's have another slurp, and let's get here to the markets and see what's happening here. Look at that. Now gold was down $6 and some. Now it's down $5.70. Um, silver is down $0.15 cents now, staying relatively stable there, but gold is dropping. Platinum is down 10 bucks. Palladium is down $65. Uh, it's the biggest loser so far. Palladium is now under $2,600. Amazing. It got up over $2,700 not that long ago. Crazy. If you attach a single chopstick to Paul Stanley's deformed ear, he could outplay <laughs> Lars Ulrich on drums. And he's not even a drummer. You know, uh, last band practice, I told our bass player that he should walk around like a uh, Robert Trujillo, do the crab walk. He should do the crab. Let's do the crab walk again. You know what I mean? That would be pretty cool. Everybody should get that reference by now. Okay, let's see. Let's get back. So there's so the in summation of this look at the markets right now, they're all down. They're all down, and the palladium is taking the biggest hit uh, for sure. Rhodium is holding though. You're right, Jenny. Rhodium is holding on. 11500 It was actually over 12000 in the ask price um, uh, last week before this big dip. All right. Here we go. James Swain says, thanks for all you do. Should we let the commercial play through? I can't stand them, but if it helps you, I'd be happy to grin and bear it. Well, James, that actually does help. Um, it's a way to help out the channel without you spending any money. Um, or, you know, a PayPal donation or whatever. But, and, and of course, no one, I never uh, tell people, hey, watch the ads or anything like that. Um, only if it's something you're interested in or what have you. But I just appreciate you being here, whether you skip the ads or not. But it does help uh, for sure. And I thanks for, I appreciate you uh, taking that into consideration. If it's a real long ad, just go ahead and skip it, you know. I think they say the first 30 seconds is what really counts. But I've seen one pop up. And the channel I watch, because I do the same thing to support other channels, is there was an ad that was a, an hour long, an hour and 15 minutes long. I was like, whoa, can't can't wait that long. So it's totally understandable. All right, here we go. Part-time prepper says, all nice, but thinking I like the gold leaf the best. All right. Very good. Nice. The gold maple leaf the best. I agree with it. Look at that. All those Vs. I don't know why that's happening again. It's crazy. Scrapper Stacker, very informative. Thanks. All right. Man. Dang it. Why is this happening? I have no idea why this is happening. Let's go back here. Let's refresh this. So now gold is down $6. And look, Jenny, rhodium is down 200 bucks now. Look at that. 11500 Well, that was, yeah, 11500 I guess that was where it was before. But the bid went down. That's crazy. Hmm. Nuts. When the pickle when the pickle speaks, people listen. That's right. Very informative. Thanks. Thanks, Scrapper Stacker. Yes, indeed. Appreciate that. All is one now. I let the video play out, but I didn't watch it. Ooh, all is one now. Well, thank you. I hope you take the time to go back and check it out. Because there's a lot of, of, of information in here you might find interesting. But thank you all as one now. Makuakane uh, um, says he wants them all. Right to right, exactly. Yes, indeed. Um, they probably never pronounce his name right, but I appreciate him. And let's see here. All right. Let's have another slurp of some coffee here. And Donald in New Mexico says, Sal, all... all of your four beautiful maple leaves, three are white and one is yellow. Silver is the brightest white and the gold is mellow. That's right. Exactly rated bright, white, mellow, yellow. T-Y-U. Thank you so much, Donald. Very well said. Is Donald? Yeah, Donald is here with a V. Yes, for a V for victory. 
I kid you not. I just click here and all of a sudden V starts typing. I'm not sure exactly why. Economic Stalker is here. Hello, Economic Stalker. Good to see you. All right, where are we at? Lord Auric Curmudgeon, buying gold money on the cheap. Yes, indeed, or cheaper. Still pretty expensive, for sure. Good to see you guys. Okay. All right, Makiwakane is here. I said it right today. I said it right today. Now, if I can only remember that I said it right. Makiwakane. Oh, na, keiki. Pu, uai, na, uai. I don't know. Aloha. I know aloha. That's about it. Makuwakane. I'll have to remember that. Gabby is here. Graham Diamond is here. Good to see you. Pamela Rice is here. Buttigieg is out of the race. That is crazy to me. Because he was... He had done... Coming in third, fourth. He had done well. But hey. Crazy, crazy. Too much slurping. Keyboard will never dry out. Yes, indeed. Okay. Alan, Sal, I think what's happening now is going uh, with the stock market dropping. People are selling their gold and silver, causing precious metals to go down. They will then take those proceeds and buy cheap price stocks. That's probably was what happened. That is probably what is happening. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised. Rocky Superstar, Sal, thanks for this info. Platinum is undervalued compared to gold. I am thinking of leaning towards platinum. It's about half the price. Yes, indeed. I, I'm with you on that. I still think it's undervalued. I'm I'm kind of bullish on on uh, platinum too. I would love to see a blue osmium one ounce coin. That would be cool, uh, Taka. B Demon says nothing sparkles like gold, but I like the feel uh, of I guess diver or silver in my hand. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Economic stalker, thank you so much for that super chat, my friend. Appreciate that. Very kind indeed. Hello from Ireland says Ruski. Good to see you. All right. Hmm. Seduced by silver, married to gold, is eating chocolate right now. Very cool. So she's seduced by silver, married to gold, and uh, having a fling with chocolate, right? No more plugging Buttigieg. I, I cannot plug Buttigieg. That's right. I wouldn't want to anyway. I would pass on that. Quadrillionaire, how many silver ounces for a dollar crisis? Hmm. All right. I don't know. I guess the sky's the limit, right? Good to see Pamela Rice. She's awesome. Let's see what these markets are doing, all right? All right, since uh, Seduced by Silver took a bite of that chocolate, gold is recapturing a little bit of its uh, losses there. Now it's only down $4.30. Silver is down 0.90%, down 15 cents. Plat Platinum is down 12 bucks. Palladium is still taking a pretty big hit with a $62 loss over two and a half or almost almost two and a half percent drop there. Crazy. Rhodium is hanging in there at negative 1.96% drop. $200 off of uh, rhodium. All right, very good. Sal, should I hold my 350 ounces of silver one more year? Yes, I, I think you should. I wouldn't sell it, John. See, we'll just see what happens. You know what I'm saying? See what happens. All right. Oh, thank you so much, Economic Stalker. He says, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I appreciate your encouragement there. I'll try my best. I appreciate that very much. Ozzy, I'm going to get going. I need a few days off. The system's so rigged. It's depressing. I need to clear my head. All right, take care, Ozzy. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry they passed that law there but uh yes it's um hang in there all right i'm glad pamela's having a nice day okay very good uh jenny ask is still the same on rhodium but bid is low yeah i know it's crazy uh that's only the bid price moved down to uh 200 right the ask price stayed the same so it's very strange are these things working off bid or what i mean that's a, that's a huge spread there for rhodium so i'm not sure I have to contemplate that with a slurp there, especially for Barbara. Way deep inside is there. Very good to see you. Good to see way deep inside. Let's get back up here. Silver Steeler. Does Britain know something the rest of the world doesn't know about? Possibly, but nice to see them doing it while gold is still fairly high. Possibly this points to a short downward trend in prices. 
Yeah, it could be. Somebody mentioned that they needed it for their bullion uh, sales, but yes, indeed. Is Silver Steeler still here with us? He was here earlier. Silver Steeler. Uh, let's see. Is Silver Steeler still here? I'm not sure because he cannot gain entry here without winning image photography. They've got, we've got, he has to have, we have to have her here to keep an eye on him. If he comes here alone, you know what I'm saying? There could be trouble. The Brits know everything, says Barbara. That's right. Exactly right. Uh, Roy, Owen, Huxland, thank you so much. Three ninety nine dollars Super Chat, I appreciate that. I love that little icon he posts there because it looks like that there's a little bit of coffee spilling out, but then those dots disappear. Watch it. Boom. Yeah, thanks again, Roy. I appreciate that. Very kind of you indeed. All right. Very good. And does Britain know something? Okay, yeah, so a little double post there, Silver Stealer. But, all right, I think Winning Image Photography said, bad boy, you get away from here. Get, get away from here. Slurp says the Nepster is right. Nipster. I like his little Atari logo. That brings back memories. Hello, Sal says the Stacking Nerd. Here's a slurp for the lovely Stacking Nerd. Hmm. Good to see you, the Stacking Nerd. Great channel, guys. Definitely give her a subscription. She does her daily videos. Um, outlining a lot of good deals from across the uh, the bullion sphere, the bullion dealers out there. Uh, many different cool deals that she researches and, and shares with us. Very good. All right, Donald, New Mexico's got the bug too. Look at all those V's. Yes, I can't say that the V's won't come again. I hope they don't, but Brad Pitt's VR porn experience, B3, World War III, says toilet paper. That makes almost as much sense as your name all right uh the realist latin over latino ever the realist latino ever i'm kind of happy now i buy even more silver maybe even some gold if it drops just a tiny bit more all right i hope you can I hope we can get some more the four medals of the apocalypse says floyd that's right exactly there you go that should have been the title of the video the four medals of the apocalypse tom seward we're glad he is tom seward pressed one if you have at least three months of food. You know, I don't know if that I have quite that much, Tom, but I might have to look and see. I, I thought about getting some of those prepared foods, like the Blue Mountain or whatever, Patriot food or something like that. I'm getting a couple of those as a stash away, some with a 25-year shelf life, you know, or get some MREs. Might get some MREs, order some MREs, you know what I'm saying? Okay. There we go. Jenny has lots of toilet paper, which, by the way, toilet paper will be very, very valuable in an SHTF scenario. Just waiting to sell it for $5 a roll. I'm going to go down to Kentucky to visit Jenny so I can get some, buy some toilet paper for five bucks, uh, $5 a roll. All right. That'd be worth the trip. Maybe she'll give me a hug, maybe. I hope. That'd be nice. Marshall Health says, Fantastic breakdown of these metals. Stack it high and wide. Yes, indeed, sir. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Paladin Stacker. That was very nice to see all the four of the PMs together. Yes. People have been asking me about it. And uh, there was a channel that uh, actually did this quite a while ago. And um, they had uh, showed five of them with copper, too. But it was a copy of a... Of it. But anyways... Eric Kaselski, I am a novice stacker, only have silver, and considering platinum with the recent price drop, is this a good idea? Um, well, I think it's good to diversify, but really, do it based off of your understanding. Platinum is a bit riskier. That might be an investment metal. I would suggest instead, even though platinum I think is undervalued, I would suggest actually getting a little bit of gold instead. If you don't have any gold, I would get gold first. Stopping here in West Virginia, says uh, Speeden 108. Yes, I would love to visit you too, Speeden. That would be great. Cool. Awesome. Yes, Speeden. In West Virginia, where at? I mean, well, you don't have to tell me exactly, but I'm somewhat familiar with West Virginia. The multi gun man. Hey, Sal, how's it going? There was a place in McDowell County where they filmed October, or where October Sky was based out of. And uh, you've got. Huntington, West Virginia, you've got obviously the capital, Charleston, you've got, you know, Kaiser, West Virginia, Romney, West Virginia, you've got uh, New Martinsville, West Virginia, you've got, uh, let's see, all kinds of places that I've been through. 
uh, what is the other one? Um, oh, starts with a P. Woods in Wood County. What is the what is the county seat for Wood County, West Virginia? I've been through there too. I've been to both panhandles of West Virginia. There's two panhandles. I drive up there. Let's see. Charles, Charleston and Huntington. All right. Yeah, that's a stretch of 66 through there. Wheeling. That's right. Wheeling. There's Wheeling, West Virginia. Been through Huntington. There was a there was a metal band out there called Byzantine. Now we're out of Huntington, West Virginia. Byzantine. All right. Stacking NYC. Good to see you. Stacking NYC. Uh, he is a rock star, especially on the old Instagram, which I've been remiss to get back there as much. When metal when metals drop, some retailers raise premiums and will run specials when spot rises. Yes. Yeah, you got to be careful out there. Um, always, and that's just it. You've got to know exactly um, what you're buying and understand the premiums. So don't be careful with some of the specials. You know, sometimes they like to trick you. So that's a good, exactly right stack in NYC. Quadrillionaire, what's your favorite film? That's tough to say. <clears throat> I kind of like Sling Blade. Mm -hmm. And I'm a kind of, I'm a kind of partial to that film. I also like Dumb and Dumber. Uh, I like, uh, uh, let's see here. I can't name just one. But there's some good, I, you know, one one movie I thought was really good was, um, um, oh shoot, not Cold Mountain, Gods and Generals. Gods and Generals was a good, it gives you a, 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 an understanding of Robert E. Lee that I think a lot of people don't know. Um, and then there's also Shawshank Redemption is another great film. So many good, all right, so let's get back here to the markets and see what they're doing right now. There's where they are. Let's refresh this and see if there's any change. Now look at that. Gold has recovered almost all of its losses now. It's now it's only down 20 cents. Um, silver's still down, but not as much. Platinum is down, but not as much. $13 loss. Palladium is down even more. And rhodium is holding on. So the metals are trying to recover. They really are. Um, but you think about it. I think the only one that really is down below the little floor that I had uh, set up for, in other words, I thought that silver's uh, decrease would be, that seven, the $17 would be the floor. It is below that now. It's crazy. Okay, let's see here. So yeah, it's crazy to see these metals. This has been an, kind of an interesting uh, market watch here with these metals. Go gold, says John P. I think I'd like to see it fall more because I want to I want to buy more. I want them to tank, but that's just me. But uh, refreshing again. Now it's down 60 cents. Gold is. Silver's down 13 cents. Platinum is down 13 bucks. Palladium is down $67 now. Crazy. Palladium is a big loser of the day of the, all these metals here. All right, let's see here. Uh, Stacking there bought some gold before it went up. Dances with wolves. Dance. How about dirty dancing with wolves? All right, Eric says, let him tank. That's right. Eric, our resident bouncer. Javier is here. Battle Badge Production says, wow, that is really something. Frank Lament uh, could make a decent replica, I think. By the way, it's me, the former trench blade. Oh, man, very cool. All right. Good to see. Trench blade's a great guy. Good to see you still around. Thank you so much, ba Battle Badge Productions. I'll have to check out some of your videos. That is awesome, sir. Thank you very much. Good to see you. I remember Trench Blade. Good guy. He collects World War II memorabilia. Military memorabilia. All right, very good. Down in New Mexico, how much is gold right now? Gold is $1,585.90 right now. Down 60 cents, 60 cents, Donald. Exactly. All right. Thanks for sharing, says West Coast Stacker. Well, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you um, watching. And Jimmy says, do you think, do you believe the markets have hit their low, or do you think we still have yet to see the markets bottom? Um, I thought that the markets were overvalued, probably on all of them except for silver. I think silver took a pretty big beating. Um. Uh, in fact, I was surprised that it went down that low, but in other ways, I'm not. Um, so I think there's room to go even further down. Will it go further down? I don't know, but I'm thinking gold especially 
um, in my view, should. I think once this whole thing with the um, with the Mexican cerveza ailment, uh, you know, this this little flu bug thing goes away. Once those fears go away, I think we'll see the markets kind of uh, normalize. But to the downside, especially if the dollar remains strong, like we'll see here. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Let's get back up here. Silver, Switch 176. Nice showcase, Sal. Great to see someone handle their medals without gloves, you old-timer. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed. I, yeah, I'm not a glove guy. Graham Diamond, nice video. Uh, per usual, Sal. Lots of info on your channel, sir. Thank you so much, Graham. I appreciate that. I try to do. Uh, very much appreciate it. Very much. That's right. Stacking the NYC drops a truth bomb. He's exactly right. There's always more volatility with silver. That's exactly right. Uh, salivate, uh, silver drill pickle, not the stock market. Oh, okay, the stock market. You weren't asking about metals? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I think there's, I don't know, man. I'm not sure about the actual stock market. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's, um, it's, it's tough to say. <clears throat> But I believe there's probably room for them to move downward a little bit more before they go back up. I think that's possible. CCT, have a good night, my friend. He's got to head to bed. Got to be up in six hours. Thank you so much for popping in as usual. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, by the way, if you get a chance, you want to check out his channel. He posted a video recently on how to photograph coins, and it is a great informative video uh, for sure. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see. Is Pamela? All right, Pamela's got to leave too. She's got to cut out. A lot of people love silver. Thank you so much, Pamela Rice. I thank you so much for being here. Have a good night, Pamela Rice. She is awesome. Very much appreciate her for sure. All right. Okay. Hey, thank you, Stacking NYC. I appreciate you, my friend. All right, very good. Graham Diamond says, I think we will have another week of sell offs and markets will recover. And gold and silver will be fine. Maybe the stock market will not reach new highs. Who knows? Another interesting video. So thank you so much, Graham. Yes, appreciate that. Coinman5000, long time no see, brother. Hope you're doing well, sir. Good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. Welcome to Coinman5000. Coinman actually poured um, some really cool copper bars a while ago. Copper is a very difficult metal to work with. But uh, yeah, he poured these really cool bars. Little copper bars a while ago. B Demon is here. Hello, B Demon. Let's get up here. All right, we've gotten reached at the top. Let's look at these markets before before we refresh. Now, one thing these held for reviews. I had like uh, two hundred and seventy seven of these. I had to go through. I'm gonna go through some of these. These are old comments that got put in held for review. I have no idea why. Silver drill pickles were in there. It's insane. I don't know why these things are doing this it's nuts anyways let's get back here <clears throat> here we go the markets now gold is down a dollar 30 folks one dollar and 30 cent drop in gold silver's down 13 cents platinum is down 14 dollars palladium is down 62 dollars and rhodium is down 200 bucks it's crazy it is um the markets have been kind of going back and forth a bit, um, and they're trying to get their head above water, especially gold and silver, but not quite making it yet. Yes, that's right. Just add silver. It's the end of the world as we know it, and he feels fine. Exactly right. Barbara loves Trump. Oh, breaking news, everybody. Barbara has just become a Trump fan, and she's going to vote for him in the 2020 election and maybe even work the polls. On Long Island for Trump. All right. Very good. Nice. All right. Donna, New Mexico wants to know how much gold is right now. Let's see here. Gold is now $1,584.30, down $2.20. So the markets have been moving sporadically here out of the gate. It's been crazy. It's been nuts. Wow. This is crazy. Ah. We should break a few minutes for the group to wash hands. Everybody wash their hands. And then we'll come back. Let's see what these markets are doing here. 
down two dollars. It's been pretty. I mean, every time you refresh, there's a there's a big change. They're moving one way or the other. Now it's down to that two dollars. Stop making Barbara nauseous. Sorry about that. T O B U Q Q M Long Island baby, love it here. All right, T O is from Long Island. Freedom Stacker is here. Freedom Stacker, good to see you. All right, see you, Sal. Okay, thank you, Mud Swat. Mud Swat, thank you so much for being here, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Looking Glass. Yesterday, I went to the local coin store and asked how much I can get a Silver Eagle for. I was told the price, but there would be a $3.50 premium. Is this too high? The store owner said that was low. Um, well, typically what happens is the mint sells these to their um, distributors at $2 a pop above spot. So $3.50 is another dollar fifty premium that a local coin shop would sell it for. So that's probably right, probably pretty fair for new silver eagles. Now, uh, backdated ones that they may get from uh, you know somebody bring them in, they're going to pay spot a little bit under. They should charge you a dollar seventy five, but it just depends on the coin shop, you know. Yes, indeed, Floyd Baldwin. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks for the show, Sal. Thank you. We're starting to climb out of the pit. Gold, get up and fight, says Alex. I just think that's a good analogy. That is about right, Alex. Let's refresh these markets and see if gold gets out of the pit. It's near the top. It's only down $2.10. Um, silver is down $0.13, cents, $16.60 an ounce for silver there. And uh, the rest of the metals are down kind of stably where they were at. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get to some of these comments. We've got a truck and prepper. The Bluebird commercial that keeps coming up in the middle of the, of, the, of your videos sucks. Yes, a truck and prepper. I'm I'm with you. I don't control what ads play on my channel. Just so you understand, and political ads specifically, they are um, uh, they are to be played anywhere and everywhere. In fact, Bloomberg ads play on conservative uh, talk show. <clears throat> you know, blogs and videos all the time. He's got a lot of money. He's going to put his videos out there, if anything, to annoy us. So, yeah, that's why you're seeing that. <clears throat> uh, a medium man is going to try to buy a four-coin RCM Platinum Proof set tomorrow. Nice. Very cool, medium man. I hope you can get a good deal for it. Silver Turtle 65 is here. Good to see Silver Turtle. Welcome, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Another great guy, great channel, Silver Turtle Wiz. Yes, indeed. All right. And uh, he's been around a long time, and he posts travel videos and also talks precious metals on his channel, too. And has, has done coin roll hunting in the past, too. Very good. Mm. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's right, Freedom. No worries. Yeah, you can skip them if you want. Toker Talk is here. Good to see you. All right. Uh, Steve uh, uh, Duncan says, as a stacker of gold, I really believe it's important to understand and stack all the precious metals on the patient goal of uh, accumulating more gold. Imagine all the gold you could own if you bought palladium in 2015 and traded it two weeks ago for gold. Does that up over time? Yes, it does. And I'm not very good at that because I accumulate the metals just to keep them. Um, like, for instance, my rhodium bar, I would not sell it, probably even if it went to $20,000 an ounce. But um, but I hear you. That's right. If you make those trades and make those plays, you can come out ahead. He wanted payment and gift cards. There you go, <laughs> Dudius. That's right. This is my scammer call. That's right. That I took at the end of that video. Very good. Slurps up, says Toker Talk. Yes, there you go. Slurps up. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Armando from the vault is here. Hello, Armando. Good to see you, sir. Okay, yes. Mustard. Uh, Matt Max sent me a beautiful 1996 when I ordered uh, the Call American Silver Eagles. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, indeed. Alan has got to leave. Thank you, Alan30189. Thank you so much for being here, Alan. Yes, indeed. Always good to see you, sir. Sterling Cannabis says, the best thing of all is music. Hope you catch tonight's live stream at Billy Streams. Okay, yes, indeed. Um, uh, I'll have to check that out. Thank you, sir. Very cool. Sterling Cannabis. 
That's right. Brandon VU. If people are selling their hard assets to buy stock while it's cheap, then gold and silver will never be a get out of the stock shadow. Unlike many experts are claiming that gold and silver will explode during a recession market crash, the gold and silver thesis does not make sense. Um, yeah, and that's just it. It's only when there's fear um, and there's blood in the water, so to speak. Uh, but this was a play uh, with, the, with the selling off. Of, uh, very rare, by the way. Uh, with a case where gold and silver didn't do uh, what uh, they usually do in times like this. So, very odd. All right. Donnie B. Hello, sir. Welcome. All right. Very good day. Thank you so much, Armando. He hit the like button the way out. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate you. Yeah, Buddha Judge dropped out. We're hearing about that. That's very interesting to hear. I'm actually surprised by that. That Buddha Judge has dropped out. Let's see here. In fact, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to see that for myself. I'm just curious. Because I'm a political junkie, so I, I kind of, um, I watch the de I watch all the debates and, and everything. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Pete ends run. Uh, ending his presidential campaign. Pretty crazy. Pete Buttigieg rose from being a small-town Midwesterner mayor to barrier breaking top tier candidate for the Democratic presidential nomination is ending his campaign. That actually surprises me. I really am. He was the first openly gay candidate uh, to seriously contend for the presidency. Uh, he had a pretty, uh, and he was probably the smartest one on the stage, really. Jimmy, I've heard you say that before. You really wouldn't sell your bar if Rodian went to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I. I I can't say definitively for sure. Now, obviously, if I have to sell it, uh, Jimmy, I would sell it at five thousand. I would sell it at three thousand. If I have to get rid of it, obviously, I would sell it. But uh, not now. Let's check the markets before Donald spanks me in the butt. All right, the markets are reacting right now. Crazy to how they're moving. Uh, I mean, this is probably the most. Uh, natural biggest little swings out of the starting gate. It's like they don't know what to do, but they can't get their head above water. Gold is down 0.2%, down $3.10. Yes, that was a burp. You heard me burp right there. The burp was there. I, I own the burp. I live the burp. I feel the burp. I just burped. Silver is down 13 cents. Uh, so it's kind, of, it's kind of hanging in there around that range between 13 and 16 cents. Uh, platinum is down fourteen dollars, and palladium is down sixty three dollars. Crazy. All right, let's see here. Donald Bump says Sal. All right, hold hold off. Very good. Hello, Silver Sacker. Good to see you. Welcome. Let's get back to these. All right, the uh, the what you might call it uh, Cerveza thing is an as a made up story. Does anybody know? What the Hegelian dialect is, problem, reaction, solution. They create the problem, the people react. The solution is thieving hundreds of billions of dollars from the markets. How is that the stock market and the commodities market go down at the same time? It doesn't make any sense. 38 million people every year die from other diseases and stuff. No, I hear you. Um, I, you know, it's certain, there's certainly something to be said for it. I think the reason why there's so much because it's a different strain of the flu and that had an origin, and it spread in, an, in a unique way. Um, and I think that that is why it's making news, kind of like uh, SARS and other things. But you're right, you know, less than 2% die from it. Um, but obviously, if we can prevent it, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's probably a good thing. But I do think it's probably hyped up. All right, is it time for push-ups? Twisted Clown has reminded me. Silver Stanger is here. Hello to you. Good to see Silver Stanger. All right, so Twisted Clown, <clears throat> since you mentioned it, Donna, New Mexico's got the V bug going on. I know it hasn't happened here in a little bit, so I think we're doing pretty good. But Twisted Clown, be gentle, be kind to me, but Twisted Clown can pick the number of push-ups I do. All right, let's see here. So let's see what the Twisted Clown will do. I'm going to get out of the way so I can get these push-ups out of the way here. I'm going to put this in here so that I can get this out of the way. Ah, oh, man, let's see here. Get stretched out. Oh, Twisted Clown, we got it. Waiting for Twisted Clown. Number, the push-ups that I'm going to do here. Let's see. 
Uh. How many push-ups B Demon were waiting for Twisted Clown to get? Uh, Twisted Clown, 18. Thank you. I think that's doable. Here we go. Here we go. 18 push-ups. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, a little overachievement. Two more. There we go. Fake getting ready for push-ups. Yeah, that's right. And then the push-ups themselves will be considered fake. By Donald in New Mexico will deem it as such. Okay. Let's see here. Sip the coffee, Sal. Pick you up. All right, let's sip it for Donnie. Here we go. Mm. <coughs> uh, actually, Barbara, um, the push-ups more help the chest muscles. And the biceps do need a little bit of work. One push-up for every victim. There you go, Silver Stanger. That's right, exactly. Now, I do have a little 20-pound dumbbell here. I'll get out. It's a dumbbell, so it's, it's... And even that dumbbell is smarter than me. Let's see here. So let's do this. I'll do 10 of these on each side. This dumbbell. One. Two. Let me show you the markets while that's happening. So you can see the markets here. There's a market, so there's a fresh that. There you go, there's the markets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on that side. Now we'll do ten on this side, and then we'll let Seduced by Silver pick the next uh, number of push ups. One, Two, three, four, count with me. Five, six, seven, stop counting. Eight, don't count anymore. Nine, ten, that's ten. All right, very good. Okay, there we go. Let me put this back. Man, that 20 pound dumbbell, Darren, that thing's. Feels like it weighs 20 pounds. It's insane. Okay. Seduce by Silver has given me a, an assignment to do 12.5 push-ups. Let me catch my breath here. Uh, since I'm a semi-pro wrestler, I'm working to get into pros like Mick Foley. If I can be at Mick Foley status and have a, several different alter egos like uh, Dude Love, Mankind, um, and uh, what is it? Cactus Jack? Then I'll be doing very good here. All right, let's see here. So we've got gold down two dollars and twenty cents now. It was down two dollars and eighty cents when I was doing those curls. Silver's down a, a nickel, so silver is recapturing some of its losses now. Platinum is uh, down nine dollars, down a one point oh four percent decrease, and palladium is now down 55 bucks, a 2.21% decrease, the loser of the day there, very good. Tricky guy, here we go, yes, being offered BP by someone, yes, very true, uh, probably so, you're right, tricky guy, that might be the reason. Listen to your scars by Sc Godsmack, yes, under your scars, I think I've heard that song, yeah, is that a good workout song? Earlier comment to Sal, there's an estimated 18,000, 46,000, deaths in the U.S. in the 2019-20 uh, season compared to the 2000 uh, worldwide zero in the U.S. That's right. All right. Very good. You can imagine a Biden Buttigieg ticket. Need a two-ounce silver salivate dumbbell. There you go, Mike Miller. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Uh... Let's see here. Let's get back to these comments. So thank you, Hugo. Silver is going to 14. He says, just keep buying. One more thing. It means crown. So watch the crown. Uh, is that the most amazing coincidence or one or what? Who owns 80% of the land on the earth? The royals. All right, the crown. Yes, indeed. You can't write. Yes. 
Yeah, hey. Yeah, I'm duly noted there, Hugo. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's get back up here. Sal, I don't think fear drives the markets. Insider trading drives the markets. Uh, if anyone in the United States is really afraid of something uh, called this, they are morons. Why am I not afraid? I think it's a joke. I'll just keep buying more silver because it's inexpensive at the moment. Don't be surprised if silver goes down to 10. All right, we'll see. Although I do believe it's not just fear that drives the markets, um, but it's psychology and it's... Uh, and it's the people's interpretations of things, uh, um, what happens there. But anyways, because it can go the other way, too. You know, the uh, exuberance drives the markets, you know, uh, excitement. Very good. Okay. All right, we finished that. I'm put a little water in here. DW is here. Hello, DW. Don't let honest facts interfere with the media message. That's right. All right. Reports do not have any validity. Report is just hearsay. If you don't see it with your own two eyes, it didn't happen. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what's held for review. More of this stuff here. These things for a month ago that were here, and I've already commented on them, and they're being pushed into this <clears throat> published or held for review. Brian Murray, can someone explain why the dollar to silver ratio is so high according to the U.S. Dot, uh, debt clock but still so cheap to buy? Yes. Uh, I posted several videos on that. If you go back and search, search my videos for U.S. debt clock. <clears throat> um, done several of those. That explains that. All right. Now, is um, Seduced by Silver still here? Let's see if Seduced by Silver is still here as we refresh the markets. Gold is down $1.80, so it's been going teetering back and forth here. Silver is down $0.08, cents, recovering some losses. Platinum is down 10 bucks. Palladium is down $50. Bucks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I tell you what. It's something to see these markets move. Let's see here. Where are we at? All right. Very good. Uh, let's see here. John P. says if um, if Trump wins in November, is gold up or down from here? I think it'll probably... <clears throat> I think it could go down. But it just depends. I mean, good grief. We saw gold and silver go up at a time when Trump was president. It just depends on... There's so many other factors that come into play, John P. All right, so Seduced by uh, Silver is here, and she has given me my first push-up assignment in a decimal. So 12.5 push-ups. We're going to do it. I think I have an idea to how to do that half one. All right. We don't know what the goat to silver ratio is. That's right, Silver Stanger. What is the goat to silver ratio? Uh, here we go. 12.5 push-ups. For seduced by silver. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve point five. I'm holding it. Holding it. Oh, all right. That's actually gonna hold hard to hold it mid mid push up. Oh, man. Okay, let's see here. Whew. All right. We did it. Bobby Two Poops. All right, he's here. So there's where the markets are, guys. We did it. Very good. Let's see. Fake says, down in New Mexico. Darn. Ah. See if there's any new comments that have arrived. Minutes here. Doesn't look like it. So we've caught up. <clears throat> okay, very good. Let's get back here to this. Oh, very good. All right. There's 
percentage of the markets are. <clears throat> so they're kind of normalizing a bit, I think. A very nominal drop for gold. But, you know, for the last hour now, hour and 15 minutes, it has been somewhat of a, of a ride. Let's actually take a look and see what gold has been doing. Look at that. It's dipped down. It's recovered a little bit. But not up to its point where, and only at the very beginning, did it uh, go up a little bit. There were two times when it went up $2. But then those were gone. Now it's taking a dip and come back out. But you saw what happened last week. Look at here. It went pretty far down, gold did. <clears throat> Silver's momentum here has, uh, you can see, if this chart will load. We'll take a look at that and see. It took a pretty big dip, though. Tricky guy. The riggers are crashing gold and silver because they know price is about to rocket when they finally pop that fiat bubble and everyone races the metals. Hey, that could be. We'll see. Uh, Jenny, no scammer calls this evening. Uh, my my um, um, luck with them on uh, Sunday nights is pretty bad. They don't typically answer on a Sunday night. <clears throat> we can try one, but I kind of doubt it. All right, very good. Oh, thanks, Seduced by Silver. You should love the point five. Very cool. All right, so here's Silver. And uh, I don't know, that's... I don't think that's showing. That's from Friday. So we're not seeing the live on the silver for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> I doubt we're going to have it for platinum either. It looks like just gold has that. It's a little bit slow running. This this is this site is, <clears throat> unfortunately. Needs to do 10.5 push. right. I need to do 10 of those half push-ups. That's really be strain. That would really strain it. But the yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. Mm. I want to try something here. Where are we at? Hmm. I guess we can give it a shot to try to call one and see what happens. We can try to call... Try to find one of these that has a cell number. What they say is a cell number. From my list of old numbers here. Okay, here's a cell number. Ronita, Ronita. We'll try it. We'll, I doubt we're going to get anybody, but we'll give it a shot. Ronetta, Ronetta Stone. Some of these, they say it's a cell number, but we know it's not. <clears throat> we know it's not. Come on, Ronetta. Drake is going to announce a platinum by the end of the week. Very cool. Nice. Yep, no answer there. Just as I thought. Person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. And this is Albert who says he was going, Sinclair Consulting says there's a 100% chance that he would answer and he never did. We'll give this a shot. This is Albert. If he's Prince Albert, we can see if he's in a can. And if so, we'll have him let himself out of that can in short order. Here's Grant Cell, a lone scammer. So we can try Grant's. We can try Grant here. See, but we usually don't have. They like to take a day off too, as Jimmy says. That's right. We know it's snot. That's right. We know it's snot. It's burgers. Boogers. Boogers. All right. Take care, DW. Appreciate it. We know that number works, at least. All right, uh, tricky guy. If you suddenly had $100,000 to buy either all gold or all silver, what would be your choice? You can only pick one. Ooh, man. Uh, 
You know what? For me, that's a pretty easy choice, tricky guy, because not just because of the um, um, how I feel about diversification, but in my stack, but just as far as storage, storing $100,000 worth of gold would be a lot easier than storing $100,000 worth of silver. Even if the even if it's confirmed that the ratio would narrow quite dramatically, I probably would still get all gold. Even if I knew for sure that the ratio would tighten by over 20 ounces. Uh, I know that may sound silly, and that's just something for me that I would do, but great question. Uh, tricky guy, very good question. Yes, indeed. But I'm not against silver. I love silver, and... Um, and I'm not suggesting that any, any, anybody do that, per se. Uh, but I think, as far as a storage thing, it may be, it may be wise, just because $100,000 in silver is a lot of silver. That's a lot of silver. All right, so let's try Grant. But you can see why, uh, Jenny, that um, typically they don't, uh, they don't, they don't uh, answer these calls, unfortunately. Where is the Albert? I might keep the Albert one handy so we know that one works. And we're calling Grant. Uh, uh, Grant here. Hmm. Grant Buttigieg is his name. Grant Buttigieg. Suppose I could say my name is Peter Buttigieg. So this is how the race number is. The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please, Please try, try your call, call again, again later. later. No. I refuse to try my call. Let's see what the markets are doing, guys. Shall we? One double row, two by two, box holds $100,000. Wow. Okay, there you go. Medio man, he, he, got, he gets it. He, he get it. He got it. All right, now look at that. Gold has made its, it's dipping its head above water, guys. Gold is now out of the doldrums of being $2 under. Now gold is above 50 cents, and the silver is down only 4 cents now. So the metals are starting to recoup, I think. They're starting to do a little bit better here. All right. Mm. Very good. And that is where the markets are. Very good. Crazy. So we'll see. We're going to keep an eye on this. Now gold is up $1.10. Up $1.10 now gold is, and silver is still down Four cents. All right. Gold is in the green. The other ones are in the red. It's almost Christmas. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Almost Christmas. Very good. Scammers are like used car salesmen. They never work on Sundays. That's right. Yes, indeed. Let's try it one more time. Look at these markets. $1.10. Well, the next move, I'm probably going to bail out. We're going to bum rush you guys here. Uh on this Sunday night, because I think we've uh, covered these markets relatively, uh, you know, detailed for what it was. They essentially have been a little bit um, sporadic out of the gate here. And uh, so we'll see if this holds. We'll see if gold holds on. $2 now movement upwards. We didn't see that $2 move since the very beginning, the first 10 minutes or so of the market's opening. So this is... um. Good news here. All right, very good. Uh, do the dishes. Hello, my friend. Thank you so much for that uh, super chat. Um, no, do, you did not miss anything on the rhodium bar. Um, do the dishes. Search my videos for rhodium, where I do talk about it. Uh, but I still do have the rhodium. And also, in a recent video, I did talk about at what price I would consider selling it. Sort of. Um um, and I think that one is called Why I Won't Sell My Rhodium Bar at $10,000 an Ounce um, in the video. But yes, yes. But uh, thank you so much, my friend. Very much appreciate that. All right. Very good. So I still have the Rhodium Bar. Spectacular. Will you marry me? We can just hang out, watch TV, play video games, go fishing. Nothing weird, though. Hey, no problem. You know what? I'm one of these guys, though, where I don't need a marriage license to prove my affection for spectacular. I, I would just hang out, watch TV, play video games, and go fishing. Maybe uh, sift through some pay dirt just for gets and shiggles with spectacular. Indeed, I would, because he's a cool guy and a channel worth subscribing to. Yes, indeed. All right, very cool. Hey, thank you. Do the dishes. And by the way, I loaded the dishwasher earlier, just so you know. Uh, 
I didn't actually wash the dishes. I just put them in the dishwasher. But thank you so much again for that. Do the dishes. I appreciate that, sir. All right. Very good. Okay. There we have it. Let's see here. All right. Now, look at that. Gold is now up $2.90. That is the high of the last hour and a half. Uh, so, gold is definitely in green territory. In the black, it is recovering some of its losses uh, marginally here. Uh, there we go. So, it's very cool to see. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Seduced. I appreciate you being here. And all you guys. I'm probably going to head out here too, guys. Um, but uh, we have covered the markets. We had a good time here. I appreciate all you guys being here for sure. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Uh, let's see here. Okay, tricky guy came in an hour late. Did you say price drops are due to the uh, flu, reducing the need for metals since the Chinese? Yes. Um, check out uh, the, uh, the video I posted on Friday, tricky guy. That explains it all. Uh, they just talk about why there was that big sell-off. Yes, indeed. Very good. All right, thank you, Ruski. Thank you, guys, for all being here. Uh, we missed uh, Silver Honda tonight, and we missed Terry79. Uh, so I hope they're doing all right. C. Barrett, thank you so much for that super chat, my friend. Very kind of you indeed. Everybody do have a great week. I appreciate you guys being here. A multitude of gratitude. Remember to keep your feet on the stars. Keep reaching for the ground. Take a squeezy. Don't be sleazy. If you have a cold, then you just might sneezy. See ya.